Good evening and welcome back to the Westport Independent. We're back with week four. Reviewing last week's sales, we did a little bit of this last time, and Paper Sold, we got a uh, decreasing popularity for the first time ever, it looks like. Paper Sold is lessened. Um, we got a lot of suspicion added, a lot of uh, people's opinion, a little bit of people's opinion forced towards the Rebels, but a lot of suspicion added. And then we also actually lost some popularity because our, I guess just because our, our paper yesterday was kind of weak. Um, so now we got to decide if we want to try to ease the suspicion. That was the whole point of yesterday's thing was to ease suspicion. We ended up actually adding on to it. Um, let's take a look at the mail today says. Join the president's birthday celebration. The annual celebration of the president's birthday is here. Join us at the parade by Liberty Square. By Liberty Square. Loyalty, morality, propriety. The Loyalist Party of Westport, 1949. Okay, so. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. So this is President's birthday. President's birthday is in full swing. Okay, preparations are in full swing. I feel like something very bad is going to happen at this thing. Former rebel speaks out to press. Voter trade routes in Westport closed due to rebellion. Movie star gets a wax figure in ex exhibition honoring local celebrities. Loyalist government's new strategies to improve education at public colleges. 20 people arrested for protesting and factory explodes. Explosion shakes the Eastern District. Okay. You know, I kind of just want to I mean, we want to avoid the suspicion. Let's start looking at some of these stuff related to the Rebels. So we have Factory Explosion. Factory Explosion shakes Eastern District. Or we have Rumville Factory blown up by Rebel bombs. What? This is the factory that was accused of supplying them. With Interesting. Uh, okay. Tragedy struck last night as a local factory exploded in the Eastern District. Several left injured and casualties already numbered in the hundreds. Ramavil management claims that this was due to an accident involving chemical compounds. Police believe otherwise, with suspicions of rebel involvement. Why would the factory lie about? I mean, maybe why would they lie about getting attacked? I mean, as far as as far as like if things like insurance go, I mean, I think you'd rather a terrorist attack than you would, uh, you know, accident involving chemical compounds. Meaning like, you know, it wasn't in your control. Something else happened that wasn't. Your, this this seems like it's in your control. That's gonna be an insurance problem probably. Oh, do we want to use this one? Let's edit it like we would and let's think about it. So, factory explosions, we want to be honest about this. Uh, tragedy struck. Yada yada, please leave, other, let's leave that part out. Um, I think it's important news. I think it's very important news. For industry especially. So, let's give it to someone who's... Let's see, let's play Eastern Factories. That sounds like something Anne might want to write. Um, yeah, let's try that. Okay, so we're going by location today and uh, nothing else. It's okay, so 20 people, 20 people arrested for protesting. 20 people arrested for protesting or please stop rebel riot in progress. 28 people were arrested in a protest near Warren Birth Park. The rally was against the public culture bill, which will come into force later this year. The situation took a violent turn as the protesters resisted arrest by, arri by arriving officers. The protest ceased after police backup arrived. So, police stop rebel riot in progress. I don't know if that's a good idea to, like, I don't know, like the public opinion. I, I mean, this is, this is the thing I have questions about in the game here is if the public opinion is if we please stop rebel riot in progress, uh, 20 people, uh, we're rallying against the public culture bill. I mean, this just changes the tone of it, but really, if you read this and please stop a rebel riot, you would be a little concerned that there's rioting. Um, you would might you might not like the... Okay, so let's see. The situation took a violent turn. You might... I mean, you might, you might think that... You might think that there's a bigger problem. I guess if this one, this one doesn't highlight the people just arrested or protesting. So this is... This is kind of saying, okay, these people are peacefully protesting, and the situation turned violent as the police protesters resisted arrest. So the police tried to arrest them. They turned violent after that. We'll leave this part off. This sounds like they're just arrested for protesting, which like, you know, there's freedom of speech here. But if we say this, then it's going to kind of be even, I think. 
And that's going to be a problem as far as our paper goes. But oh, maybe we'll keep it this way. Okay, let's think about that one. Uh, let's see. Loyalist government's new strategy to improve education at public colleges. I'm going to read what this one is. The Loyalist government has proposed new regulations to improve the quality of education in the public colleges. These will increase the college's funds, allowing them to improve both the environment and, educa and educators. The government will also greatly increase the cost of tuition throughout Westport. Okay, so... Uh, new regulations to improve the quality of education, but also higher cost to actually go, so it's gonna actually... Hurt, uh, hurt lower class people because they won't be able to afford college as easily. Loyalist government capitalizes on colleges while shutting the worker class out. That's exactly my point here. Of a proper education. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue. Um, we are printing kind of this, like, this populist paper, I feel like. We're trying to, like, get the, the lower class to rise up kind of thing. So if we print this, they would certainly not like what's going on here. Um, let's think about this one. This is going to get us in hot water, too, and it's going to raise some suspicions for us. Uh, let's see. Trade route. Westport closed due to rebellion. Movie star. Celebrity news. Okay. Movie star gets wax figurine ex exhibition hall. An upcoming exhibit at Liberty Square Museum of Art will be honoring local actor Harold Finn. This is the guy that was arrested for drunk driving, I believe, before. Uh, the exhibit Faces of Westport was announced today to contain a wax likeness of the star. The statue's creation was overseen by Mr. Finn himself to ensure its accuracy. Apparently, the statue had been redone 14 times before the star was satisfied. Harold Finn's ego, as big as ever, doesn't think statues made in his honor are good enough. I don't like these kind of articles. I know we should be doing that kind of thing because it's popular, but this is tough. Okay, so trade routes. Not very interesting. Anytime I say trade routes, everyone falls asleep. Today, the government announced that the closing of trade routes to, to Westport. The decision was made in response to the recent violent and rebel assaults on convoys. As a result, all travel has been temporarily restricted and blockades have been raised at all city exits. When asked how long this would be in effect, the president gave no response. Government shuts Westport's borders and trade routes to Westport closed due to rebellion. Government shuts Westport's borders. I like that headline. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see here. Um... I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it as is. We're not going to redact anything from that. I don't know if it's a good idea or bad idea. We're probably going to run into some problems there. And then we had, that's five stories that we might want to print. And then president's birthday party. So preparations are at full swing. Preparations for the president's birthday have cost over $12 million. Boy, oh boy. The city is as lively as ever in the preparation for the president's birthday. Parades are planned for celebrations as, as well as the festival in Liberty Square. According to reports, the cost have exceeded... 12 okay so i think people might not want to even print this but we'll see what happens so let's see what let's see if i try to give this to somebody what they do he'll do it he'll do it she'll do it okay they don't care i mean this is this is like we can have like a, a, di a dialogue going on here uh the president's expensive birthday party and then the tuition going up oh my god okay we might have, like, a serious, uh, riot on our hands if we do this. Let's just go full rebel and see what happens, though. Um, government shuts Westport's borders. We want to know that, too. Okay, let's give it to Ju. Let's switch these, actually. Give this one to him. And then... Give this one to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Phil can't write, um... Phil can't write that one. Okay, so I give this one to him. He's still gonna say no. Oh, we could totally make him do it though. What 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 would Phil do if we made him write that one? He would probably quit. I would imagine if he really doesn't like what we're writing there. Uh, let's see. No, it's a, yeah, she doesn't have. We don't have a location for her. He's in the Western Districts, and Phil's in the Eastern Districts. And she's also in the Eastern. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's proceed the layout here. Let's see what kind of paper we have today. Uh, let's see, factory explosion, lead off with that. Industrial crime, gripping headlines. Government shuts borders. Oh, this could be a great headline too. Let's go back a page. 
That's uh, that's about even. That really busts up the industrial. Uh, crime, societal, and then societal. So societal and industrial. Okay, so we should probably focus on those sectors especially in our marketing. And I think there is one that is that. Yes, it's the Eastern District. Okay, so we need to get the... Let's even go like 60% there. And then we'll do like 17 or... Yeah, let's do... Let's do... Let's see, it'd be 10 for each of the other ones. Well, 14 because we have 40 remaining, so it's not going to be completely even. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Uh, they're really gonna like this paper, and we're gonna get into some hot water today, man. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, this is gonna land us in some trouble. Um, yeah, this is definitely gonna run us in some trouble. This is this is big news for them. Uh, so I'm sure they all know about it is the thing. We're reporting the news back to them that they already know, because they know that this factory exploded, because they live in the Eastern District where it exists. So, you know, maybe they want to know why it happened or something like that, but we'll find out. I, we'll see how they take it. And really, this is the government's really going to be on our case after this one. But we might really tip the scales towards the re re rebel, uh, the rebel alliance, I was going to say. <laughs> it's not quite right. But OK, let's get the rebel. Let's get the uh, see what happens here. Let's see what happens. How do you plan on spending your day during the president's birthday? I don't really know. I don't really plan on joining the celebration, so I guess I'll just stay at home. Me and my husband are taking my son to see the parade. I also plan on stopping by the parade. It's going to be held not too far from my apartment, after all. Yeah, sure. Great. Alright, let's see how this all went down. Whoa! Okay, so popularity is 100% in the Eastern Factories area. Holy cow, and we tipped the scales towards them. It was already on that side. Uh, we sold a few papers in the northern suburbs too, but man, we really nailed it with that one. And southern too, for a certain extent. Okay, cool, we're popular in two districts. We're not in the, the, the more populous districts here too, which is great. But uh, readership, obviously these guys do not like us. We're turning into this kind of like uh, anti-loyalist paper right now. And? Oh yeah, they are onto us. Popularity went up more than the suspicion went up, though, so it was worth it. And we aided the rebels just a little bit here. All right, now I think we're, gonna have to, we're definitely gonna have to back it back down today. Okay, you've got mail. Education is for the people. An oppressive government's biggest fear is the educated public. Don't let the upper class tyrants control our knowledge. Join the rebellion today. Workers against oppressors. Number numbers against class. See, now we're turning into a class war. Okay. Um. So now we need to think about how to get. So we obviously have the lower level support for the rebels right now. We need to figure out how to get them all. Like right now, it's kind of a class thing. The the poor against the rich. But we need to get that thing so it's the rich and the poor against the government somehow. Is we really want to affect some change here so government burns books in liberty square let's take a look at this one here quick government burns books in liberty square yesterday liberty square was lit up as police officers started lighting burning started burning books the event was the result of months of collecting books from various libraries and stories and stores sorry the event was the result of months of collecting books from various libraries and stores the collective books were work supporting anti-government sentiments. Some protesters arrived at the scene, but were easily held back by the police. Government prevents the spreading of rebel propaganda or books that burned in the release square. Okay, but this is the entire we, we we need to back it down here. Otherwise, we're going to get in some serious hot water. Um, okay, so if we if we take this part out. We take away the why for the article here, I was just thinking. Uh, so if we take away the collected books we're supporting at the government sentiment, they people will have no reason no reason to know why they're doing this. They're just government's burning books. That's all that's all this they'll catch the headlines of. I mean that would be like, why wait, why are they burning books? I doesn't say. 
they're just doing it. Um, all right, I'm kind of kind of anxious to see how that one goes. Uh, pulp writer starts cult. Okay, we need might do, do some celebrity stuff here soon. Pulp writer starts cult. Former author turns prophet. Pulp writer Pete E. Roberts has gained some popularity by claiming to have unlocked psychic powers, offering to share his secrets for a price. The author has opened a new institute in his home. This is due to his claims that his powers can only be used inside his home. He's already received several applications for the people of Westport. Um, let's think about this one. This is this is this is Scientology, correct? This is that's what this is going on right now, which is popular with the more rich people. I think we might use that one actually. Who could we give it to? Um, let's give it to Phil. Let's see what happens with that one. That's gonna be celebrity or societal news, I think. Um, okay, so then we have the Government Burns books. We have Bar Brawl in the Western Districts. Last night a fight broke out of the bar in the Western Districts. A fight involved six people who, according to testimony, all were heavily intoxicated. Knives and broken bottles were used, leaving four of those involved with minor injuries. The fight was soon stopped by police that have arrived and arrested the offenders. Okay, so dangerous drunken brawl leaves several people injured and a Bar Brawl in the Western District. Okay, so what? what's the angle here? Dangerous drunken brawl leaves several people injured or Bar Brawl in the Western District. So it's like, it's like getting the people, I think what we'll do, oh boy, I don't, I don't think we're gonna use this one. If my goal here today is to get the suspicion off our back, one of the goals today, and the other goal is to get the, the Eastern, the Western Districts on our side, Bar Brawl in the Western Districts. We want to get the Western Districts on our side here. Fight broke out. Okay, so we don't know where these people, if they were from the Western Districts or they're just hanging out there. And why there's a Bar Brawl? I'm kind of confused by that one. We'll think on that one. Movie star in minor accident. Right now, movie star Harold Finn suffered an accident yesterday evening, crashing his car into a streetlight. Accident resulted in some dents to the front of his car. The streetlight was knocked down. Mr. Finn was left unscathed. Let's think about that one. We might want some some uh, celebrity news coming up soon. Uh, trade routes to Westport closed due to rebellion. Today, the government announced the closing of trade routes to Westport. The decision was made. Did we print this one yesterday? I wish I could see what the stories were yesterday. I thought we talked about this already. Uh, okay, today the government has announced the closing of trade ports to Westport. Uh, the decision was made in response to the recent violence and rebel assaults in the convoys. As a result, old travel has been temporarily restricted. Blockades have been raised at all city exits. Okay. Leave that part out Tell, without telling them the why. Let's see here quick. Trade routes to Westport closed due to rebellion. Government shuts down Westport's borders. Hmm. See, to me, I, I, you know, in a certain way, um, it makes the rebellion sound more powerful by, by printing it this way. And it, I don't know. I don't know. I leave that part out that it's the result of the rebel. Yeah, maybe we'll do, put rid of this one. Who will give it to? Frank, maybe? Frank is going to get in trouble. I think we should probably be careful with him. Um, 10 people reported still missing. Police stay silent about potential kidnapping case. Oh, interesting. Two weeks have passed since 10 people were reported missing, still no trace. The victims were all suspects of members of a rebel group in the southern docks. Police came invest claim investigations, but oh boy, we need to print this. We really need to print this, but again, we gotta not raise suspicions. What if we just report the news as facts without like the... Oh man, the, the inflammatory headline sells papers though. Let's think about that one. President's birthday celebrated all over Westport. The president's birthday was celebrated all over Westport. Parades were held by Liberty Square in northern suburbs. At the same time, protesters and rebel sympathizers marched by the southern docks. Riots were broken up by the police and 14 people arrested. I'm not going to print that. Okay, now we have, we have two stories. Trade routes and the Scientology thing. This will get more readership in the north. Let's give it to them. And then we need... 
Do we want the brawl in the western districts or do we want Orange books? I think this might get the educated groups on our side. Went to private college. Yeah, if we can get that one for her. And we were giving him the first profit. Okay, let's see, we'll see what this mix is like today. So yeah, let's take a look here quick. So trade routes to Westport closed due to rebellion. Movie stars, this is front page news right here. Front page news, movie star and minor accident. Or author this is, this is, this is bigger news. Government burns books in Liberty Square. That is an inflammatory headline though. This one is better for us, I think. Let's see, this one does nothing for Oh, that's what's interesting. This one does nothing for any of the boxes, which means it's purely propaganda, not propaganda necessarily, but it's purely uh, news regarding the rebels that is going to support the rebels and it's not getting anything for anybody. OK, let's just take a look here quick and see. It's a societal. And then it feels weird to have this as the back page, though. All right, so the, t the taper's kind of weak today. Um, let's, I really hate not reporting on this, but let's go back here one. Um, what do we have? Police brawl? Instead of the book burning? Let's see what happens to this. Uh, okay. Societal. Well, this this would make our paper look really nice if we have the celebrity news on the front page. Cele movies are in minor accident. Uh, let's see, Barbara, no. Trade routes closed. Okay, let me need to put that on the front page. That's the biggest news, actually, yeah, to me, anyways. And we'll put the celebrity on page six. All right, still kind of weak though today. We're not really hitting those boxes. Let's go back. Movie star crashes car leaves out a scratch. Hmm. Okay, does that do anything better for people? We do the same exact article with the new headline. What does that do for people? Anything? Okay, we're on page one here. Okay, so let's go. Trade routes, same as before. Bar brawl. Little crime. Little celebrity. Still kind of weak. We need to get strong paper today. All right, we're taking out the bar brawl. Taking out the bar brawl, denying that article. We're taking this. We're putting this in. Please stay silent about potential kidnappings. Oh, can we change this to the more inflammatory headline? No, we're leaving. This is, but this is the more inflammatory one. Okay. And we're taking this one out. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Government burns books. We're going for it. Oh, this is the one that actually doesn't actually help anyone though. With popularity. President's birthday is celebrated all over Westport. I mean, we could just report the facts and make this a nice friendly thing for the government, maybe. <laughs> I cannot bring myself to write this article. I'm gonna have to force you, buddy. <laughs> He's not gonna like that at all. Uh, we'll see what happens. If we make him write this, it's going to lower his suspicion just a little bit. I mean, look at how, how, how much suspicion is on him already. So we need to get him cut down. So we need to make him write this and see what happens. If we can get the suspicion off of him a little bit. We'll see. We'll see if we can save him. From himself. All right. So let's go. Um, please stay silent about kidnappings. Crime just a little bit. That's page four. Let's put that on page one. Page one. Crime is a little bit still. Trader Oats does better for us for societal and industrial. Uh, that's more societal. More societal. Finally, this one, page four. I mean, I hate to have it on a page four like that, but all right. We gotta put this on page two at least.
one more time. Come on. All right, this is this is that's page four. So this is page two. This is page three. This is page four. All right, it ends up the same as far as the breakdowns, but we'll be fine. And then we're gonna go heavy in the northern suburbs today. We're gonna go heavy in the western suburbs today. Oh, look at the changes the way it looks here. Modern. The more we the more we advertise in a certain way. Rich is the rich, poor is the poor, got you covered. Societal news every morning, every day. Sensational scoops surrounding superstars. I guess it's kind of about how to how to uh, promote our paper. As societal news. One newspaper for everyone. Yeah, okay, that's kind of like even. Yeah, okay, we'll do one newspaper for everyone. Yeah, we want to unite now. We want to unite. That's the that's the tagline we're going with today. One newspaper for everyone. Uh, yeah, one for one. I like it. All right, is that is that everybody? Let's make sure we're covered here for all percentages. Okay, 99%. That's good. That's as good as we're gonna get. Okay. Uh, let's publish and see how it does. Fingers crossed. Don't. Am I the only one who finds it creepy that 10 people just went up and smoke? I find it more disturbing that the police haven't addressed it at all. I mean, who's... It's been two weeks. Surely they've had some leads by now. Oh, come on. They were rebels. For all I cared longer, those cowardly swines stay lost, the better. Wow, Phil, you'd make a great police officer. You've got all it takes. Prejudice, a healthy dose of self-righteousness, and apathy towards anyone who doesn't share their bed with loyalists. Yeah, Phil. Way to go. Week six. Six weeks until public culture bill comes into force. And? Sold a lot of papers in the East and South still. Didn't do so well in the Northern, despite having kind of catered to their opinions. Uh, we did not change opinions as far as that goes, I think. I think these are pretty much set in stone. We gained some more suspicion, we lost some popularity, we gained some force for the rebels somehow. And I wonder, I'm worried about Frank. I'm worried about Frank. We've got mail. Well, that'll wait till next time. So, I've been Modi, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back for another episode very soon. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I'll see you next time, when we'll find out the fate of Frank. Have a good night.